hello guys and welcome back in this video we learn how to update data from a table in the previous tutorial we learn how to create table save data and alter or change column names and add new column names and add new columns so this in a fourth tutorial we will this tutorial we learn how to update the data you can see this third one here. It's really stupid. You should, bring, you should, you should get some, some names, sensible name, and a second one. So, how do we do that? First, you can use PHP My Admin Interface to update it. Make sure you click on Edit. Then it will load and comes with all the data. You can see. This ID here is three and the name, so you can change that to the third. Mm. Let's say, ah, Bill. Okay. And because he is way old, so let's give him like 80 years. And it has no image so we can add an image but i think i've already click on go so it's loading um, let's do that again so you click on browse and you get your image Gentleman, of course, and click on go and one row affected and data truncated for columns 20 meters for one. We will learn about data truncation early on in our data in our tutorials, so don't worry about it. But you can see our image is here. We click on it to see what happens. You can see it loses our image for us. For that so how do you update table with my uh, with sql code um you start with the update keyword then which table do you want to update our text table then which column do you want to update which column do you want to update first um you want to update an id let's say the student name and see repeat and then you bring set then it says student name is equal to whatever we enter here so let's say let me type my name Sylvester then comma Want the age? Uh, what is it here? And you set this equal to I say twenty seven, twenty seven. In the race you leave it, but the, one of the most important thing on which basis do you want to let me copy this Control C. now come here click on browse you click ok now you see we are having all of these tables so if I just type this I just type this code without bringing on the basis where where and, and, and that's why we use the keyword where without bringing this keyword it doesn't then then our query won't work so let me take off where so you need to bring up the 
you will call where. Where test on which basis do you want to update? And we are updating on the basis of the ID. Text ID is equal to what? Let's say so once again copy this and move back again to browse. Click on OK. On the basis of what? First, I'm going to update this one to receive where test ID is equal to what? Two. Because we are updating on the basis of the ID. And it's always advisable and recommendable to always update on the basis of the ID. Because the ID is always unique. IDs that are primary keys, in other words, does not accept duplicates. It does not accept duplicates. So anytime you're updating your table or deleting, always use do that on the basis of the ID. So, so where it is equal to what you and click on go. And let's go and check. You can see it works perfectly. Our name change to Sylvester and the age change to 27. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. In the next video, we will learn how to delete data from our table.